Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is June 13th, 2024. I've got a 10 by 10 tough shed being delivered this morning. Just wanted to kind of document the installation. This is the gravel pad that I built uh, for the shed. This little extension here is for the ramp. I've got one of those tough shed heavy duty ramps uh, coming with it. But a lot of work went into this pad. There was an old shed here that we had to tear down and uh, haul away to the landfill. Then I had to dig out. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 pad. And I had, I went down about four inches, I think. So I had to dig out all the dirt. So it should be delivered this morning. And they're gonna get started. I did have the utility company come out, 811, and marked where all the power, because there's this is an actual easement. So I've got electricity running under the shed. Uh, but that's all marked. And according to my HOA, I've got to be three feet from the back fence and the side fence. So I've measured all that out. I'm going to be about 40 inches or so. So I'll be in compliance there. Be sure and check that uh, when you start working on something like this. But anyway, I've got these uh, pavers all the way around the edge. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is the old shed had a real bad mice problem. So I wanted to go ahead and put these pavers in. I put rocks in between, so it'll be real hard for mice to get up under the shed. But anyway, it's uh, it's ready to go. And we'll come back once I get here. All right, they've arrived to install the shed. All comes on one flatbed trailer. All right, they're getting started. I just spent a lot of time leveling this pad to use like a four by four, a ten foot four by four to and some levels to level the pads out, but looks like I was pretty close. Looking good. heavy-duty ramps I'm gonna come back and put some nicer rocks in here Let's see inside got a workbench with a pegboard I had some vents installed there's the skylight got a ridge vent radiant barrier uh, plywood here for the roof nice big thick door those are the anchors that's where my power is coming in down about four feet. I mean, this thing isn't going anywhere. Anyway, this uh, foundation I built is working out great. 
shouldn't get any mice up under my shed now. There we go. I'm gonna put some rocks. Go back. Okay, this is day three after the install. Done a lot of work one of these three days. Put me a motion light. I caulked every seam and did some touch-up paint repainted but every seam has been caulked there were some pretty significant gaps uh, from the installation that I had to clean up I wired up my power I've got these marble rocks now laid down which covers up those pavers it looks much much better Everything's been caulked and repainted. It has some pretty significant gaps up in there too. So I caulked all of those and the vent. So everything's been caulked. These rocks look much better. Side now so it's been painted shelves I've got lighting I've got some real nice lights over my workbench now so the power comes in into the junction box from outside so we've got a plug and a light switch here and four out the plug over here that little remote controls these motion activated shop lights. Also put an outlet here. And I put an outlet over here, which is controlled by the light switch. So this switch is for my security light. This switch is for that back switch. The light and that back outlet come on and off with this light switch, that way I can put my fan and my radio in here and just turn it off when I leave. So it's just about done here. Uh, the ramps are great. Uh, these are quite an expensive upgrade, but they're worth every penny. Um, these things kind of come up. There's a, there's a little lip right there that you see where they hook on. But these things work great. When I did the pad, Got in contact with Tough Shed and found out the measurements on the ramp. And so the ramp is comes out 43 from the edge. So when I built my pad, I'm coming out about 33 inches from the 12 by 12 pad by. 52 inches which worked perfect because this ramp now sits on these pavers right in the middle so got really well anyway that's it if you have any questions just leave a comment and i'll get to it Thank you.